But one question I've been getting a lot this week is about nest boxes. And what should I do this time of year? Should I clean my nest boxes out? When should I clean my nest boxes out? So I thought we would talk about that real quickly here. Um, and if you watch me regularly, especially in the spring when I talk about bluebird boxes in particular, I talk about how uh, bluebirds nest three times a season. And this year we've got many people who have a fourth nest this season uh, with their bluebird boxes, which is which is great. So um, in this year uh, and in and, and most years, what I, I, I recommend is don't clean out the last nest. But, you know, wait a minute, Mark, you're always talking about how important it is to clean out bluebird boxes. Yes, it is during the season, after their first nesting, clean it out. Their second nesting, clean it out. Third, if they're going to have a fourth nest, because a bluebird won't reuse its nest. I talk about this all the time. She'll just build a new nest on top of the old nest, and she'll fill this box up, and it becomes dangerous for her, uh, and we want you to clean it out every time. But the last nesting of the season is I always talk about leaving that nesting material in the box. Why? Because bluebirds and other birds will use this as a roosting site in winter to help keep warm and having some of that nesting material in there it will help with that insulation of the box for those who want to use it. Uh, and then so that first cleaning, uh, we always recommend it in February. You know, get, go in there and get it all cleaned out for the, in preparation for the spring nesting season. But this time of year, you never know. They, you know, I, I, it, it's not impossible for a bluebird to even try to do a fifth nest. But it, they, there are a lot of them trying to do fourth nest right now. So don't, obviously, you're going to leave it alone. Uh, but after this nest, I still would leave it alone. So, uh, break my rule of cleaning out after each nesting in the last one of the season. So birds that want to roost in there. Uh, that will have some uh, better insulation there. And there's a lot of birds will roost in there, chickadees, uh, Carolina wrens and bluebirds, things like that. Uh, but other nest boxes, like uh, house wren nest boxes, the little tiny guys, they nest twice a season, not necessarily in the same box. They fill it with sticks. Uh, give it a little bit right now, and then you can safely clean that out because the only bird small enough to really to use this for a roost is a house wren, and house wrens migrate south. They're not here in the winter, so they're not going to be using this box all winter long. So that one you can clean out earlier if you want to. And, of course, purple martins are already uh, fledging, moving out. The big boxes, they're already gathering at the lakes, and a lot of people are talking about how their martins are completely gone now. And so when it comes to your fall preparation, a lot of purple martin landlords like to leave their boxes up later than this in case northern birds will see them land on the box and they're hoping that those are uh, future scouts that may use their box in the future so you may want to leave those martin houses up a little bit later uh, and, and don't clean them out just yet but they're going to be, need a good cleaning this fall as well so that's the question we've been getting a lot lately you know, what to do what uh, bluebird especially landlords need to do with their boxes this time of year so the last nesting leave the nesting material in there if you will until like february so it's a great idea for a program. Thank you for that. Give us a like. Give us a share. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And until then, come by and let's talk birds.